Hi guys, another follow-up video of Arclex Tweet Tool. One of the best applications that we have is the Tweet Tool. It contains so much easy, nice things to do. When I update my system with an, and I always try to launch other desktops, right? So look at that. Qtile hasn't been updated in quite a while and you just update your system. In the meantime, HW info is in the past. Maybe you skipped all that. Great. Then you were on Saturday, the 16th of October. You were not at your computer. <laughs> you skipped everything. So the thing of this video is, is um, well, first of all, guys, a desktop is a desktop. Whatever desktop you're on, Arclinks Tweet Tool is Arclinks Tweet Tool. Firefox is Firefox, right? It's it's going to be uh, working on any of our desktops. And we are actually talking about a desktop. There is a new possibility in the Arclinks Tweet Tool. We have this long list in tab two, desktops, and where it says install a desktop from any on any Arch Linux based system, install BSPWM or awesome. In this case, there is um, Ray, actually a good friend of mine, an old uh, Arch Linux core member, said to me, hey, have a look at this fork. So a fork is a name coming from GitHub. If we do an ATT, Arclinx Tweet Tool, I've just created and um, let's get rid of the Discord, Telegram is null. Well, wow. um, what I was going to say is that we can actually now have, after the update, of course, you have this Dusk choice and it's a fork. I have fork. A fork is a copy paste. That's where it starts. Uh, you copy paste from somebody else and then you say, I have another vision on things. DWM should be looking like this or should be looking like that. And you can do it with any desktop, right? And DWM is, is um, interesting in that fact that it's a, you build the desktop. It's a package that you actually built. And we've done the same in ALCI.online. So I've created there in that project, I've created my own DWM spin-off. And what I've learned over the years that actually DWM is super stable. As I've, we've not done any maintenance and it, it works, it keeps working. So that's also something to keep in mind. So somebody, and I'll, I'll sh go to the website later on, made a um, his view, and that's the freedom of Linux, fork DWM, change things, patch things in, and we've got now a Dusk, a desktop to install. So that's the change in the Arclinx Tweet Tool. When you update later on, you'll see something and you have Dusk Super X. We log out and we have up here now Dusk i3, left W on Qtile, Qtile, right? Dusk is the new guy. I see it still has the nice simplicity wallpaper there. And this is your new DWM, your new desktop, Super T. Super shift enter is tuner. I better get this. All right, I'm back. False alarm. So we've got ourselves a desktop called Dusk. Where do I get information? Well, not from us. The support has to be come has to come from the developer himself. Arconlinuxb.com is a good link. So we have created a tutorial how to build um, an ISO and it's still not there. Let me check that again. Voila, deleted the cache of the website and here it is. How to create your own Arconlinuxb ISO and include something, right? Creation of Arconlinuxb Dusk. That's one of the ways to find the link to BKB Dusk. So this is the developer, this is the creator, this is the creative mind. All credits to him. What we've done is create a few Arclinux key bindings, right? With 25 desktops, we're not going to change our key bindings. So you'll find Super T is working, the Super Shift return is working. So you have two things, terminal, file manager. You're good to go, a Super X get out.
logout. So all that and, um, and some more things. You can compare this uh, code, so this, this folder, if you download it, git clone it, compare it with ours. Ours is super shift return, control H, config is in here, right? Put them next to each other, the one, the original one, ours, and then you see all the differences we've made with Melt. Enjoy a new variant, right? A new way of looking at things. Uh, study the code. Like I said, any questions, really, it's up to Backaby to support. We have done our little changes as well. If you see there's something wrong for article next site, right? We've arcofied it. It's a new verb that we're using. So we've just changed the code so that all the key bindings will work and that we have the Articlinux logout and, and stuff like that. So enjoy a new desktop, enjoy the new tweak tool. And of course, if you're um, I'll say, okay, this is not really my thing, I want to get it out of my system again. So best is I think log out, log into something else that you have around, right? Left WM is another new guy. <clears throat> that we've just released. So open up that thing and then a super T maybe ADT, Arclinux Desktop Treasure Super Shift D. There is always the D menu, Arco, Linux, a lot of more typing, but it's there up there, right? ADT. And then you get rid of any of these guys that you don't like. Dusk, Trash Desktop and that desktop, desktop is gone. Some of these things uh, are red, so that's cool. That's cool. It's good that it left it alone. Um, so it, it is a tool without guarantees, right? Used with care. So what I do, if I say, okay, if I see things like that, to be sure, if Qtile is my thing, right? Required by Qtile, if Qtile is my thing, I say, okay, fine, no problem. A, then Arclix tweak tool again, then you're really sure that anything from Qtile is there just by reinstalling Qtile, right? That's a fail safe. Well, that's it. Enjoy the new way of um, installing Dusk, another fork, well, a fork, like probably there's so many, but this is, is a special one. It is really if you see the amount of, of uh, things that are possible i just scratched the surface have not changed anything yet so it really is um, mm, worth months of study probably and um, that's what we do right learn when we learn we have fun cheers <laughs>